the sorrow of Moldavia command you. Oh, command me, Lord. Hey everybody, Jason here of GhostbustersNews.com, and as always, Ghostbusters News right here on YouTube. And today, our Halloween countdown continues as we take a look at the brand new Ghostbusters Ecto-1 puzzle from Revit 3D. Yes, you heard that right, and you're seeing it right. You can now put together a 3D puzzle of the iconic Ecto-1 from Ghostbusters. And judging by the box here, it looks to be one of the most unique renditions of the Ecto-1 we've ever seen. Now I'll admit, I've actually never put together a Revit 3D puzzle before, so I don't really know what I'm getting into, but you know, a 3D puzzle, it seems pretty easy, right? Like I put together 2D puzzles, what's, what's, what's another dimension? Now fixating back to the front of the box here, We've got this great image of the Revit 3D puzzle Ecto-1, giving fans a better idea of what they can expect from the build. As well, you can see it does clock in at 280 pieces. Taking a look at the back of the box here, it does give you some different angles of the Ecto, really showcasing the detail that we hope to expect out of this build. It also makes mention of the dimensions, coming in at 14 and a half inches in length, four and three quarters inches in width, and five and a half inches tall. All right, so let me go ahead and crack this box open, and this is what I'm presented with. We've got some instructions here, and then once again, we've got 280 foam-backed puzzle pieces. Now, I think what I'm gonna have to do here is I'm actually gonna have to like bust all these pieces out on a table and separate them into individual piles. You know, put all the white pieces together, uh, also put like all the darker pieces, which is probably gonna be the undercarriage of the Ecto, put all those together. Oh, and I just found a piece for it here, the roof rack. Make sure we separate all the roof rack pieces as well. Oh, wait a minute here. I just found one part of the Ghostbusters logo and another part of the Ghostbusters logo. Look at this. I've already got two pieces connected here together. Well on my way to building an Ecto-1. And once again, to aid me in this build of the Ecto-1, Revit did include some instructions. Ah, and you can see their first step is actually sort pieces. So I'm on the right track here. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to start the build here, and uh, I'll see you when I'm finished. Alright, let it be known that the siren was added as part of a special effect for this video. It's actually not part of the Revit 3D Ecto-1 build. But you know what is part of the Revit 3D Ecto-1 build? An awesome looking Ecto-1. The front end looks really nice, pretty accurate. We got the grill, we also have the Ecto-1 license plate. We've got the hood vents featured on the front of the hood. Kind of a cool darken effect on all the windows. Of course, you got the Ghostbusters logo featured on the back door as well as also the driver and passenger doors. We have the big red fins on the side there and they also include detail work. Like on this side, you can see the ladder going up to the roof rack. And then on the other side, you can also make out the blue tubing. And speaking of the roof rack up top, it is pretty busy. You've got the tangs. You've also got tubing going in like every which direction. Additional details too, like the ghost sniffer being attached up top. Speaking of that detail up top and that roof rack, a cool little thing here is there's actually some Easter eggs underneath the roof rack. All you gotta do is remove it like I just did here and you're gonna find an image of Slimer. We've got some ghost traps there. We also have a bag of Stay Puffed Marshmallows. And we've also got a carton of eggs. It looks like they're cracking and cooking on their own. So I don't know, maybe Goza the Gozarian is back. And while we're still at the top of the Ecto-1, I also wanna touch on the additional lights up there as well as also the light bar. Once again, this 3D puzzle doesn't feature light, it doesn't feature sounds, obviously, but still, it certainly garners attention. And Revit 3D also went the extra mile because if you actually turn the Ecto upside down, you can actually see all the undercarriage. As well with that undercarriage, you're gonna see a small little Easter egg here featuring the Stay Puffed Marshmallow Man. I don't know why a miniature Stay Puffed is hiding inside the Ecto-1, but hey, I'm not gonna argue here. As well, I should also mention out of those 280 pieces, six of which are actually dedicated to this small little title card that has the Ghostbusters branding. You can see it says the Ecto-1 and makes a great accessory piece for when you have the Ecto-1 on display in your collection. Now myself personally, I do dig this rendition of the Ecto-1. It's something different. It's something a bit refreshing. And the build itself is just fun. From start to finish, it took me like an hour and 15 minutes, an hour and a half, I'd say, from actually you know opening the box up separating the pieces to actually having this fully constructed. So it's definitely not a hard build by any means, once again, especially being that I am a newcomer to Revit 3D puzzles. And being that this Ecto-1 is made of 3D foam puzzle pieces, uh, it like weighs absolutely nothing at all. Now, if you'd like to pick up one of these brand new Ghostbusters Ecto-1s from Revit 3D, they're slowly starting to pop up online right now. 
We're gonna include a purchase link or two down below in this video's description. So if you wanna snag one, go ahead, grab yourself one. And I would certainly like to thank the folks over at Revit 3D for sending along this Ecto-1 a little bit early so we could build it and show it off to you guys. So that's all I've got for you here right now. As always, be sure to subscribe to Ghostbusters News here on YouTube. Bust that bell notification icon to stay up to date with everything that's happening within the Ghostbusters world. If you'd like to join up with Ghostbusters News, check out our Patreon page. We have a link to that down below in this video's description. And I'll see everybody right back here next time.